Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about the Bheem app which the Indian government has uh, launched a couple of months ago. In fact, I've been getting quite a few requests from you guys to make a video on this. So just about a day ago, I tried this app and I have to say it is a very simple app and using this app you can pay money to anyone or get money from anyone and it is very very simple in fact i would say it's even simpler than doing uh, online banking and i tried it on two accounts my wife's account and on my account and i'll show you how to set up uh, this beam account and how to send or receive money in this video so here I have a smartphone and first I'll show you how to download this Beam app and set up uh, your bank account with the same. To download it, just go to the Play Store and here you have this uh, Beam app. Just download that, search for BHIM and uh, uh, this is the icon that you'll see and uh, note that this app has been downloaded already 10 million times. So this is the app that you need to uh, install and it's a very small app, just about two odd uh, MB or so. So I have already installed it. So let me actually show it to you now. So here is the icon of the app and let's open it up and uh, this is the screen that you'll get and let's now just set it up and you can choose your language and as you can see it's available uh, you can set up for various indian languages uh, but uh, as of now we'll just choose english and continue and it says you can now send and receive money using uh, this app so let's just uh, hit the next button now and uh, it says that uh, this is an interface for the unified uh, payment uh, interface and you can transfer money anytime that is 24 by 7 with this app and uh, it's going to uh, authenticate us via an sms so make sure the sim that is actually uh, with your bank is the one that you're using so i uh, i'm just going to allow these permissions for this app and I'm using just one SIM, that's why it's just showing me one. But if you are using du dual SIM, it'll show you two SIM. So whatever SIM is actually uh, linked with your bank, choose that SIM. For me, it's this one. So I'm just going to hit next. And here, as you can see, it's going to take a couple of seconds and do an OTP, what do you say, check. So And it is going to authenticate us, as you can see. Uh, it should have uh, done now. And we should get, uh, yeah, as you can see, our mobile is now verified. Now for security reasons, it'll ask us to set up a pin. So set up a pin and don't lose this because you would need this pin to do any transaction via this app. So just set up a pin and let's continue. So I've just set up my pin and now it will ask us to select the bank that you have. And as you can see, it lists all the banks that are available in India. Uh, mine is ICICI Bank, so I'm just going to click on that and hit this next button and it will automatically show you your bank account details and you have to just select that and once you select that it's uh, most of the process is sort of done now but before we continue uh, go to the profile option and here you can set uh, your upi id by default your phone number at the rate upi would be your id but let's say you want a uh, anything else you can actually add that for example you see that box add payment address here if you click on that you can add another upi address uh, this also shows you a qr code and using the qr code you can accept payments but let's just add one more name for example here you can give any name at upi and that will be your unique uh, what do you say identifier to accept or send payments there is one last step that you have to do if uh, you already have a debit card. Here, hit that reset UPI pin and it'll ask you for your debit card details and you need to enter this and uh, it will authenticate you. I've already done this on another account. So let me actually show you that. And uh, let's uh, send some payments to another uh, user. For example, we'll send a payment to my uh, wife's account. We just hit the send option and here it'll list uh, all the names uh, that you have already made payments to, uh, but you can also add, uh, let's say it's a new person, you can enter their mobile uh, ID or just the UPI ID that you might know. So I'm just gonna pay my wife, uh, I've already paid it, so I'll just select that ID and here you'll enter the amount that you want to pay. Let's say uh, we want to send just 50 rupees here. We can do that and you can also add uh, remarks for the particular payment for as of now we'll just use test and we hit this pay and now we have to enter uh, our pin id and i have just entered the pin id and when i click this check mark the payment will be done it takes about five odd seconds and as you can see the payment has been sent to that uh, upi id so this is how you send payment uh, using this one 
Now let's check my wife's phone uh, and these payments are instant. As you can see, we got a notification from the Beam app that the payment was done. Uh, let's just open this up and uh, as you can see that notification. And uh, this is the transaction history that uh, shows that the payment was done. We can also actually request the money from other users. For example, let's say, uh, let's uh, uh, recall that money. I'm going to request and uh, I'm going to add the UPI ID, for example, uh, on this one. I'll yeah. just use my wife and uh, let's add that 50 rupees what we gave. I'll ask her to return that. And in remarks, I'll just add test uh, refund. And uh, it will send a request to the other user uh, for sending the money. Now we have sent this. Let's just open up my wife's uh, smartphone. She should have got a notification as you can see she got it and let's hit that bell icon and here again as you can see it shows us the notification that a uh, notification has come for paying 50 rupees and this user can decline that or pay that. Let's just uh, pay this and uh, this and you just uh, check this and just hit this pay button and the payment again you have to uh, enter the pin uh, that is for security reasons once you have done that let's just hit this check mark and now the payment will be done as you can see it is actually really really fast and it is instant and these payments are directly remitted to the bank account another thing that uh, you can do is as you can see i got a notification from icici regarding the payment and another thing that you can do is that we also have a qr code if you have a shop or something you can just set up a qr code and using that people can easily actually pay you money so what do you think about this uh, Beam app? I feel uh, this is a great app. The beauty of this app is the simplicity of this app. It's a very simple app, very fast, and it's not restricted to just nationalized bank. It works even with private banks. And uh, I tried a few transactions. For example, I have another mobile that's a Aircel, and I did the online recharge uh, using this UPI. And as you can see from the sh uh, screenshots, I just had to enter my UPI ID and just authenticate it via the mobile. And the payment was done instantly. In fact, it was much simpler to pay using this Beam app rather than doing the traditional way of transferring money via online banking. So I feel it's a great initiative that uh, the Indian government has done uh, for this cashless transaction. So if you haven't given it a try, do try it out. And trust me, it is very simple to use. So guys, if you think this video was helpful, again, I would love uh, that you share this video with others so that they also know about this Beam app and how easy it us to use the same so guys that's it for now for uh, this video if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video